Hi, this is Sandy Joe from RhinestoneTemplates.com, and I'm going to make um, a little video here, and I'm using WinPC 2014. But we've had quite a few um, members of Blingcraft or different um, different members or different requests on how to do a trapping method in WinPC 2014 or some of the earlier methods too. As long as you have underneath your shape tool, as long as you have a button that says transparent group, you can use this method. There are a lot of methods you can use, um, but this is just a really simple one here that goes really fast. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move this up here and get rid of that that I was working on. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to use this word cougar here and we're going to go to our upper toolbar and we're going to go to our tools and we're going to come down to outline and in your outline choose whatever thickness you want, how fat you want um, you know the outline to be and I'm just going 0.07 here and I'm just going to do one outline on it um, and I have outline checked right here. Also make sure and check the break text so you can move your outline away from the inline color that you have and you can pick your outline color right here and I just might gonna leave mine for red. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and um, select this and then do an outline around it. The outline usually comes forward so click on um, the outline here and actually let's click on the outline and let's put that to let's bring actually to the front let's bring our black back up to the front and each of the little red parts of the outline are all separated out but the original part was all grouped together the original black part of the cougar so um, we're going to go ahead and um, just take and now duplicate that and I just selected it all and I'm just right clicking I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to slide this over I'm going to make sure and select it again the whole thing go to shape hit group slide that off and now um, I'm going to go ahead and select this whole project right here go up the shape tool come down from group and go to transparent group and now you can see that my um, the black is gone I'm going to go over here and I'm going to take off my pin mark so it just shows that we have now just the black showing here and you can see that this is all empty inside here let's go to wireframe and now you can see you have all your cut lines so you could go ahead and you could cut that out to make sure that everything is empty inside just grab any color of square of anything and just slip it back there and you can see that it shows through so now what we can do is I'm gonna go ahead and change the color on this and I'm gonna come over and grab my um, cougar that I had duplicated I'm going to break all and I'm gonna grab just the black part I'm gonna slide this back over we really don't need that anymore slide this over and now you can just take and um, you have the the area cut out that you want and you can just go ahead now and send this to your cutter with, by color and you can go ahead and it's inset in there there it's not layering at all so it's just setting it inside of there if you need to do any adjustments to it you can um, as far as if you want to overlap a little bit more or, or do whatever you can change your sizes but I just wanted to give you a little tutorial here in a lesson on how to do this and when PC as I know there's been some questions um, on how to do it in this program. I hope this helped and again this is Sandy Joe from rhinestonetemplates.com and um, I'll see ya.